Hey guys, Hidden Azeroth here, and this week we're escaping Dunhold and exploring the original vanilla zone surrounding Old Hill's Brad Foothills. For this exploration, we're going to need a balanced druid with a wild charge and force of nature talents. You're also going to want to bring along a few inky black potions, and I'll show you why later in the video. Heading north from Tarn Mill, look for a fallen tree laying along the mountain range. Climb onto the tree and then pass the free invisible walls by using force of nature to summon free tree ants and then wild charge to pull yourself to them. Force of Nature has a 1 minute cooldown, so this will take a few minutes to do. I've edited the footage so that it appears faster. Once you reach the end of the tree, you should be safe, but make sure to keep to the right as you head towards the road or else you can get stuck in an invisible wall. Following the road, we approach Old Altarac. Because the town wasn't updated in the Cataclysm revamp, it appears generally the same to how it is on live. Because the ground has not been lowered to allow for a basement, attempting to go downstairs will cause us to stop rendering the keep. The buildings are still fully furnished and the chairs are interactable. Traveling northwest, we approach the now empty Lordomir Lake. If the zone rendered slightly farther north, Undercity would appear just ahead. Approaching Fenris Isle, this is the same area that was in the untextured section of map in the Shadowfang Keep video last week. Passing into this keep's basement shows that a rough stone texture can be found underneath a building. Heading south, a heavy fog covers the area. However, you can use an inky black potion to remove the fog. Unlike its updated Cataclysm version, the original vanilla version of Amber Mill is undecorated and empty. On live, this wall has been replaced by a large forsaken gate. Heading through the trees behind Amber Mill, we can cut through the mountain and approach the Dalaran Crater.
Before being moved in Wrath of the Lich King, Dalaran was under an impenetrable bubble. Because of this, there was no actual design for the city, and there was nothing underneath the bubble but dirt. Heading back towards the ruins of Alterac, we begin to clip into and out of an instance version of the Caverns of Time. The areas use the same method of overlapping and rendering as the Neverspace did in the Karazhan video two weeks ago. Because of this, it's incredibly difficult to navigate into the caverns, and you can only explore a few feet along the boundary. It's also unclear as to why the caverns are here, as they appear at no point during the dungeon. Wintervale fans will recognize this is the area where you save Metzen the Reindeer and fight the Grinch. On the live version of the game, the Gallows Corner Tower has been destroyed. The town of Stronbrad appears the same as it does on live, minus the Horde flight point. In Cataclysm, Chillwind Camp was rebuilt and turned into an Alliance quest hub. The mausoleum on Sorrow Hill has had scaffolds erected around it. Ufer's tomb has been refurbished and turned into a shrine. Following the river that runs between the western Plaguelands and the Hinterlands, you can see the Boundary River developers added water to the map. Utilizing the same method we originally used to escape the instance, use Wild Charge and Force of Nature to climb the mountain into the hinterlands. Like before, I'll be editing this footage to make it appear faster than it actually is. Cresting the mountains, we enter the hinterlands and are able to see the great eagle statue of Airy Peak.
Like in the two keeps we explored earlier in the video, the terrain in Airy Peak has not been carved out to make room for the buildings. Because of this, the insides of the buildings are intersecting with the ground. Because an invisible wall runs along this road, you'll need to climb the mountain range to get into Arafi Highlands. Turning back towards the hinterlands, we can look down at Airy Peak. Looking down over the valley, we can see Dunmore Keep, Foradon's Wall, and Northfold Manor. Use Wild Charge while in stag form to prevent taking fatal damage. Northfold Manor appears as it does in the current version of the game. Entering Stromgard Keep, boards have been laid across the entryway path. The chapel crypt has been sealed off. However, the church remains in its original condition. Sections of a keep have been boarded off and there is no usable furniture inside.
A large number of the city walls are missing, with sharp juts of ground texture in their place. Approaching the mage tower, you'll enter into another wall of fog, so make sure to have an inky black potion ready. Just outside Stromgard Keep, there's a small cave that takes you to Faldir's Cove. Make sure not to go into the cave on the far side of the cove, or you'll be stuck in an invisible wall. However, you can freely explore the pirate ship. Looking over a terrain boundary, we can see how the poles for a docks extend below the ground. With sections of maps from five different vanilla zones, the escape from Dunhold is a fascinating time capsule of Warcraft history. So whether you're an avid explorer, or you're just tired of waiting for Thrall to ride to Tarn Mill, the old Hillsbrad foothills are well worth a visit. And as always, thanks for watching.